That is the best part of my day. Good morning, guys. It is currently March 13th, uh, 2017. It's about 9.14 in the a.m. And it is a beautiful day outside. Look at it out there. It's just, just lovely. Well, except for the, the flaming pile of garbage in that person's window. Uh, it's been a while since I have just made sort of a talky kind of video with you guys lately. And um, I kind of wanted to give you guys some explanation as to why some things are sort of changing on this channel and why it's gotten a bit different lately. Um, so my life for the past like year or so has been sort of this constant process of change and of things changing um, in my life. And while that change is a good thing, and I think that, you know, change is necessary for existence to continue to happen, um, it, it's come with its challenges and it's come with some things that I've had to deal with, uh, mainly being that I'm sort of in a constant state of, of identity and existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, so I've sort of been lately, like, having these different crises um, in my life, especially when it comes to like sort of what I want to do and what I want to create and sort of who I am and the direction my life is going and it's all sort of a very, it's a very college-y, first world problems kind of crisis that I'm having here. Um, but it is something that, you know, I'm having to deal with nonetheless and it's something that, you know, I think is going to impact all parts of my life, including the things that I make and put up on the internet. Sort of the big thing that's been happening is that I've been trying really hard to sort of add meaning to my life and all the things that I do, particularly like through the things that I am putting out in the world and through the things I'm consuming. Um, it's meant that, you know, I'm trying not to add anything new to my life that isn't bringing like value, that isn't bringing me some sort of joy or some sort of intellectual growth or you know, emotional growth and things like that. The thing is, is that the videos that I make, the videos that I have been making for a very long time have all sort of been the same. They're all sort of that just entertainment based, like sitting behind, you know, my camera or sitting on my desk and, and kind of just spewing at the camera, um, sort of nonsense. And while that has its place, and I think that that is a great thing, uh, and it's it's been entertaining and fun, I don't think it's adding any value to my life, and I don't think it's adding any value to anybody else's life, necessarily. I've just sort of been on this journey of, like, trying to find things that not only entertain me for the time that I'm consuming them, but also give me value when I leave them. And that's sort of what I want to add to the stuff that I make. I don't want to just make things that people consume. I want to make things that people feel and sort of impact people. But on the other hand, I also want to make stuff that challenges me and stuff that sort of pushes me outside my boundaries and adds value to my life in the creation of it, in the process of it. Um, because sort of the main reasoning behind my YouTube videos for a very long time has been that I have wanted to have the life that I saw all the big creators have back when I really started first getting into YouTube, you know, I wanted to have that ability to do this as a job and be a creator as my livelihood. And I've sort of come to realize that that's probably, not that it probably won't happen, but there's a pretty darn good chance that that's never going to happen for me. The internet has become overrun and overpopulated with creators and, you know, sort of my time to shine out in the way that I saw a lot of other people doing, I think has sort of ended. I don't think that I'm ever gonna break out and become a big YouTube star, and in the past sort of few months, I've sort of become to realize that, and I've sort of internalized it, and I think it's just sort of pushed me away from making that stuff that I've been making, because ultimately, it's not bringing me any more joy, and it's also not gonna push me towards that goal anyhow. Basically, I've been treating my YouTube videos as a means to an end rather than an end in and of themselves. And that's the big thing I think I wanna change is I no longer wanna just make stuff to make stuff. I wanna make stuff because it brings me joy and because it brings others joy or sadness or whatever it is, whatever the story that I'm telling is. Because ultimately that's what I wanna be. I wanna be a storyteller, I wanna be an entertainer, I wanna be a filmmaker, and I think I'm really trying to push myself in that sort of direction by leaning away from the other kinds of videos I was making and pushing myself more towards just telling stories and doing stuff that impacts rather than just sort of like gently like gets you a little tap, on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I basically just want to say that, like, I really want to push myself in new directions and I'm stopping sort of caring about views and likes and whatever 
um, and subscribers and all that stuff is really great and I think that if you're a burgeoning YouTuber yourself and you you watch me then I think that's something that you should take into consideration that you know this life ain't for everybody and it looks like that might not be the direction I'm heading so just do this because it's fun and do this because you love it and do this because you could be doing literally anything else with your time <laughs> anyway that's all I really had to say today thanks for watching guys as always um, I promise I'll be coming out with new stuff soon um, life's just super busy with college and, and job and, and family and whatever. Um, but in any case, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.